Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea and today I am sharing some fun beach themed home decor DIYs. So let's get right into it. This Dollar Tree beach DIY is a pretty wreath filled with seashells. I'm using this grapevine wreath from Dollar Tree and all of these shells I collected at the beach. They do sell bags of shells at Dollar Tree, but if you live near the ocean like I do, then you can just go collect your own for free. I did pick up these white starfish from Dollar Tree and I'll be adding them to the wreath among all the shells. I'm arranging everything onto the wreath before I glue them down just to figure out where I want them all to go and how many shells I want to use. Once all the shells are in place, I'm gluing them down to the wreath with my hot glue gun. careful on this part, I broke a couple shells because I pressed down too hard when I was trying to get them to stick to the wreath. I mostly put the glue on the shells, then pressed them onto the wreath, but I also found putting the glue straight onto the wreath and pressing the shells into the glue worked as well. I'm now taking this white nautical rope from the dollar store and I'll be wrapping it around the wreath. I'm gluing the end of the rope to the top of the wreath, then I'm wrapping the rope all around just to see where I want it to go before gluing the rest down. Once all the rope is where I want it, it's time to glue it in place. I'm cutting off the other end of the rope and gluing it to the back of the wreath. Today's video is a Summer Days Dollar Tree collab where six of us are making summer themed Dollar Tree DIYs. This collab is hosted by Ellie with DIY from House to Home, so be sure to check out her channel below. And I'll also have a link to the playlist where you can watch all our videos for lots of fun summer Dollar Tree inspiration. This beach sign DIY is so calming, just looking at it makes me feel relaxed. To make this sign, I'm using one of these rectangular signs from Dollar Tree. I'm trying to sand off all the glitter, but there is so much, I cannot get it all off. If you had a better sander, it would probably work a lot better and be much easier, but I just had to give up. Next, I'm using this new 2022 Tropical Beaches calendar from Dollar Tree, and I'm using the March page, which is this pretty tropical beach scene with the ocean, sand, and the big green leaves. The bottom of the page is a little jagged from ripping it off, so I'm cutting off a strip along the bottom just to even it out, and I'm also cutting off a strip along the top where the calendar hole is. I'm using this burlap ribbon from Walmart and I'm placing it along the top of the calendar and tracing the width of it with a pencil. And now I'm cutting along the pencil line. I have this cork ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm going to put a strip of ribbon along the bottom and the top of the sign. To stick the ribbon onto the sign, I'm using Mod Podge. I'm also using Mod Podge to stick the calendar onto the sign, starting with the top piece. And I just realized I put the top part of the photo upside down, so I have to peel that off and fix it. I'm using my Cricut Scraper tool to smooth down the calendar. Instead of cutting the excess parts of the calendar off, I'm folding them over the sign and gluing them to the back. Now for the burlap ribbon, I first tried using Mod Podge to stick it to the sign, but it did not work. So instead I'm folding the edges over the sides of the sign and hot gluing the ribbon to the back. I'm now going to make the stencil for my sign. First I'm inserting a rectangle, the same shape as my burlap ribbon. 
I'll click the lock button here to unlock it so I can adjust the size and I'm changing the width to 23 centimeters and the height to six and a half. And I'll just change this to orange to make it look more like my burlap ribbon, although it definitely does not matter. And now to insert the text, I'm typing relax. And this is in the font KG What A Time from dafont.com. And I'll adjust this size until it is the size I want for my banner. I think that looks good. Now that I have the word relax like I want it, I'm going to adjust the size of the box. I don't need as much space as I had on either side of the word, so I'm just going to make it smaller. Since I'm gonna be using this as a stencil, I will be painting inside of the letters, so I wanna make sure there's enough room around the edges, just so I don't make any mistakes and get any paint where I don't want it to go. And now I'll select the box and the word and click on slice down here. And now I can remove the layers. And here you can see we are just left with what looks like a stencil. So I can delete these two words and now I'll click on make it. Now I'm weeding out the letters. Since this is going to be a stencil, you want to remove anything where you want the paint to go. In this case, I'm going to be painting the word relax. Now I'm using Dollar Tree transfer tape to transfer the stencil to the burlap ribbon. It was a little tricky removing the transfer tape since the vinyl wasn't sticking to the ribbon very well, but I just used my weeder tool and my scraper tool to press down on the vinyl as I was lifting up the transfer tape and eventually I got it to work. Now I'm using white acrylic paint to paint the word relax onto my banner. While the paint dries, I'm taking one of these white Dollar Tree starfish and hot gluing it onto the sign over top of the sand in the photo. I'm using a piece of this white nautical rope to make a hanger for my sign, and I'm just hot gluing it to the back. Now it's time to peel off the stencil and all the little pieces in the letters. This beach themed Dollar Tree DIY is a bottle with macrame twine netting. I'm using this glass bottle from Dollar Tree along with some grayish blue spray paint and jute cord. I already had this spray paint on hand, but I think a brighter blue or a seafoam green would look really cool for this project. The main part of my bottle, not including the neck, is 15 centimeters tall, and I'm cutting 10 pieces of jute twine that are 90 centimeters long each, so six times the height of the main part of the bottle. I'm also cutting another piece of twine that is a bit longer than the circumference of the bottle where the base meets the neck. I taped this piece to the table and I'm now tying each of the 10 strands to this piece of twine. Fold the strand in half and place it under the straight piece of twine and tie it on. And continue this with all 10 pieces of twine. Once all the twine pieces are tied on, I'm going to wrap this around the bottle and tie it in place. Each knot has two strands coming out from it. You want to take one strand from one of the knots and the strand next to it from another knot and tie those two strands into a knot a couple inches down. Continue doing this all around the bottle, tying two strands together that are next to each other but are not coming from the same knot. Once you've gone all around the bottle for one layer of knots, continue down and make knots all the way down the bottle. Once the whole bottle is covered in the jute knots, it'll give it kind of a nautical netting look. I'm now pulling the strands across the bottom of the bottle and hot gluing them in place, then trimming off the ends. You want to make sure you're placing them evenly across the bottom of the bottle so the bottle has a nice base and won't fall over. This is what the bottom of the bottle is looking like, all covered in twine. Now I'm going to wrap some twine around the neck of the bottle, going about halfway up and hot gluing as I go. Oh, 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 
check out these videos on the side if you haven't seen them already. And let me know in the comments, what is your favorite summer activity? Don't forget to check out the link to the playlist below for more Dollar Tree summer DIYs. And I'll see you next time.